Hello, welcome back. I'm Tanya from Tanya's Witchy Kitchen, and how are you doing today? Did you survive Christmas? <laughs> I did. I had I had a really good Christmas, so I cannot complain at all. But this week between Christmas and New Year's is so weird. Like even though I have to work, because work is very structured, you know, in what has to happen, you know, and. It just feels weird. It's just a weird week. It's like all the sh all the it's it's like Christmas cookies that you eat this week don't count. You know, because you guys are all gonna do a resolution and <laughs> wipe those out. <laughs> I should I should start walking again, even though it's cold today. It's gorgeous, but um, yeah. But it's just a weird week. It's almost this lull, right? Like. I'm sure there's people that take down their tree. I don't take mine down, so it's sitting up. But then we didn't get Christmas stuff put away, so it's still out. And we didn't get Christmas gifts, you know, like stuff we received put away, so it's still out. It's just kind of hanging there in limbo. It's just a weird week. And I already know I was going to do the spice, you know, fix your spice, spices in the kitchen and all that. And yeah, that ain't happening this week for me. I'm so far behind. It's not even funny. Um, yeah, but it's, it, do you feel like it's a weird week? Or do you just go boom and you're back into the saddle again? Mm hmm. Not for me. <laughs> it's just a weird week. Oh, but anyway, this is going to be short because I'm out of time. And what are we doing? Okay, so you saw the aloe and mint. Okay, so this was a master batch of three soaps, and they all have um, the same, you know, because it's a master batch, so it's three separate soaps made from the same oils, and um, but they're all essential oils. So you saw the aloe and mint on Monday. That was just a short, okay? Because I've done it before. I wasn't sure if I liked it, but it, it's aloe and mint, right? Whatever. <laughs> so this next one kind of fits my mood for the week um in this lull in this haze it's fuzzy winter i've made this before it had a totally different design this time and it's bigger it's a regular size bar it's not my small little bars it's a bigger bar regular size bar you know type of thing and different design so you tell me if you like the old design i'll show you at the end of the video or if you like the new design better okay so anyway three things dream big be true to you you are worth it and let's go check out the new fuzzy winter bar okay into the new fuzzy winter soap um this essential oil blend is um one that i created with my son a long time ago not a long time ago but he helped me create it and it's orange cinnamon eucalyptus and cedar wood a blend of those essential oils and it really just I mean love it and I made lotion this year that was my lotion at A to Z what that was my scent for winter was the fuzzy winter and it went over really well I have to say so this is yeah this was the master batch but the master batch actually um entailed the fuzzy winter original recipe uh but I think I don't think I think I took the mango out and I put shea in instead because there was a couple different switches up changes up I had to make <laughs> in the recipe just because um, of uh, oils I didn't have on hand and and master batching and you know all those things it's a thing uh, my colors so the base of the soap is just the basic plain there's no titanium dioxide in this the blue is blue tide from mad makers and the orange is tequila sunrise from mad makers i love those two colors and i'm not sure why why i put the two colors together when i first originally made this soap i really don't but that was those are the two original colors so to make this um why am I giving it a different look? I don't I don't know. I think because um, a lot of my vendor shows, I've been 
scaling away from my smaller bars, okay? It was the little, if you look back at the Fuzzy Winter, um, this original video, um, you'll see it's the little loaf, the one pound, is it one pound, two pound? It's, it's the little square loaf, you know? And um, it makes eight little bars. They come out to like, um, a little over two ounces. Yeah, I did a bowl swirl. It wasn't a very good bowl swirl. The color, it, I should, <laughs> I should have let it thicken up a little bit. I'm really bad at doing this lately. <laughs> it's just so fluid. No, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's like 14 ounces of soap and you're, you're to the top of the mold or 14 ounces of oils. Sorry. Yeah. And so I just was like, you know, for vendor shows and ease of labeling at um, the store that I sell at, um, I just decided I wanted a big one. I wanted a regular size one. I wanted my typical normal, this is what I do type of bar. Okay. Um, it has always had bling on it. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with the thing. And then I decided, nope, we'll just do the regular it's always had bling, which is Snowflake Sparkle Mica on it. And every once in a while, there might be the orange or the blue on top with it. This was a nice, solid, solid bar. Like, after the same typical amount of time, nice, solid, hard, you know, you can see it. Shiny bar. Beautiful. This is what it looks like inside. So, this is totally, totally different from the other style. And I actually miss the other style. Like, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go back the next time I make this and I am going to, um, do the other, the other creative style that I did. And you'll see why. But if you think this one's better, let me know. Like, let me know your choice. This is the cut and it's like the lighting sucks, you guys. This is the cut right after it. This is it when it's cured in natural light, as you can see. And this is the original Fuzzy Winter. Okay? Which design do you like? Let me know. And as always, I hope you had a good time. Thank you for dropping by. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.